Look on the screen. Look on the screen. A dusty lurking about. This is what they do. They cause drama and terror. You know what I mean? Shout out to Don Ward who sent this. I mean, can you imagine you inside your home? What if you walk out or you look on your camera and this is like an older dust bucket? So if he hasn't figured it out now, the chances are that he ever will are very, very slim. What if he has produced the child? Senior Dusty equals Junior Dusty. Again, shout out to Don Ward. When I saw this, I thought, wow, coming out your door, ladies, CCW time. What's more shocking is the response of the police. So let's check it out for you, ladies and gentlemen, but ladies in particular, please, please be very careful. Even coming out your door, might be some a dust bucket waiting on you. Here we go. CBS 46, local women terrorized inside their own homes. Tonight, victims calling out the court system for inaction. They say the suspect is continuously released despite 65 arrests. Mm. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy explains. I woke up to a man rubbing my leg in my <sighs> bedroom. It's a frightening statement about one man women in Kirkwood say is terrorizing them repeatedly. Mm. That man is Rodney Lee Stroud, who is very well known to authorities. He has a continuous um, cycle of behavior that's very disturbing to the women in my neighborhood, to me my, personally, myself, to several of my neighbors. Records show he's been arrested over 60 times. CBS 46 mm. first covered incidents by Stroud back in 2018 when he tried to enter a home while the owner was on the phone to 911. His latest two incidents on August 8th and 17th involved breaking into women's houses and undressing and even touching them. Several of his latest female victims live close by one another and have had multiple run-ins with Stroud. When I saw him there, he saw me and then he started to masturbate. Christian oh Enterkin has a restraining order on Stroud for the 2018 incident and reported him breaking that order on August 4th and believes if he had been locked up, like she says he should have been, the other two incidents wouldn't have happened. How he can continuously break into one victim's house after another, after another, after another, signature bond himself out of mm. jail, and within 24 hours, he's back breaking into another woman's house. Victims also say APD have been responsive to their calls, but question how seriously they take Stroud's actions. One telling me an officer told her she needs to get used to his presence. And he was like, well, you know, this is just the neighborhood you live in. Victims say it's only a matter of time before Stroud's behavior escalates further and feel powerless to stop him. Mm. It definitely highlighted oh how helpless I, I'm figuring out, yeah, that I am. APD tells me they do take very seriously what Mr. Stroud mm. has done and have let the commanding officers know what the victims are saying. APD officers have said to them, they also say they are only one cog in the justice system. I reached out to the Cab County District Attorney. They say they are researching my inquiry. Right now, Stroud is behind bars, which is good news. But victims say, how long will that last? In Kirkwood. Ladies, uh, somebody might have to pull out that lead. This makes no 65 times. I mean, what? Look at this. Even if you're a man, you coming outside your house and you see this. Lurking on the side. You know you don't belong there. I'm sorry. This guy, he keeps doing what they said, a signature bond. We already know the only way this is probably going to stop. He's going to come across not the wrong one, the right one. And it might have to end with somebody using a Glock. That's going to probably be the only way to stop it. They have, I mean... If you look at it, the response that they're getting, you are setting a precedent. And he already knows, oh my gosh, you know, they're going to arrest me, then I can get back out again. I mean, can you imagine waking up and you, rubbing your leg and he's sitting here, oh my goodness. Oh, even as he's leaving, it's time to reach for something. Can you, um, I mean, what's it going to take over 65 times? And th don't forget, this is a service that we're paying for our tax dollars. And you want to defund who? I think they said his name was Rodney. 
rotten behind, rotten it. Poverty D, he should not be on the streets. He's in jail, I think, now at the time of the reporting, but will he get out again? And I'm starting to think the only reason he's in jail is because the news, the news station has made an inquiry. He might be out pretty soon. Can you imagine you're asleep and he's broken into your house, touching your leg? Oh, hell no. Rotten needs to be gone. Rotten needs to be a RIP because he's sick. It's only a matter of time for this escalate if it hasn't already. Get used to it. He's in the neighborhood. Where the men at? It's time for them, those men, to get together, approach Rod, and let him know to get the hell up out of here, or face the consequences. You don't even have to maybe necessarily lay hands on him. Get a group of men together and see where Rodney is. And when you see him, you can approach him and call him the man. Where, where are you going? If I, if I were men, I would I would just say, yeah, we're gonna have a, a neighborhood meeting. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, uh, you know, you can take turns, just just kind of, you know, drive around the area. And when you see him, watch him. It's harassing. Oh well, so be it. Would you rather have uh, him being allegedly harassed, or maybe something happened to a female? Becky, you better learn how to get those buckshots ready. And you know where the buckshots go. Becky, honey, it's time to get the buck. Uh, Becky, you need to become Becky the buckshots. I don't want to tear up my house. You can fix a house, honey. You can't fix you. What if he attacks a woman? May oh, my gosh. We don't even want to go there. Disease behind. And then they might do a mental evaluation. And then your same tax dollars will be going, well, he has a mental problem, and we're going to get him help. You're like, what? Yeah, don't forget, the tax dollars also pay for the DA's office, the police, the prosecutor. Yeah. So if something happens to you, he'll get a court-appointed uh, uh, attorney. And my plea, cray-cray. Slap on the wrist and go on his way way and do it again. 65 times. What more do you need? See, I think here's what's happening. Sure, there are good and bad officers. You're doing right. There is no doubt about that. And the bad ones need to be dealt with. What has happened is, I think they're trying to do police reform. And I'm hearing a lot of times in the Democratic-run cities, they're trying to say, oh, they want to give people a chance. But it's being abused. I mean, 65 times, what more do you need? Somebody needs, uh, Rodney might have, to, I mean, if, if the laws won't take any control, Rodney might have, may have to catch those hands or something else for somebody else. And it's a matter of time when he doesn't know he's so stupid. See, Dusty's don't think it's already on the news. So don't be surprised if you hear about Rodney getting dropped. And I don't mean by the cops, by a homeowner. It'll be justifiable in society's mind because guess what? It's already been on the news when he's done. And then you have some some old dusty family member want to I want to file or I want to go ahead and file a lawsuit. Really? Sixty five arrests, ladies. I would say again, you know, get those motion cameras, but I guess it doesn't work because you can see he's in the dark and coming to the light where she is. So he's gotten to these houses. Y'all need to get some alarms, and y'all need to go ahead and suck it up, buttercup, and get that uh, and get that get that heat. As they send the South, get that Bertha. Bertha can solve some problems. He won't trust me. He get the right one with that Bertha inside that house. Guess what? That that'll be the last. He's like a little roach just going around all over town. That's terrorizing women. Again, imagine if it's you, uh, men. If you may be listening, imagine you have a daughter. Because sometimes men, some men, not all, want to be dismissive of things like this. Oh, it didn't hurt her. Well, imagine if it is your daughter or your mother, if you care about her. Imagine, or your wife or your girlfriend. And you walk in and he's touching her leg. You already know, unless you got some kind of idiot, uh, he going to catch those hands. If not worse. Some of these men that put those hands on them, they'll beat little Rodney down to death. So get used to it. They need to run him up. I mean, he, you know, I don't want to say run him out of the neighborhood because all he's going to go ahead and do is go someplace else and do the very same thing. I'm telling you, it is a matter of time. And by by these women, you know, I probably terrified and scared, totally get it. 
you be surprised. Sometimes the one that try to boss up and you know try to fight, he gets crazy and enraged because everybody else has been, you know, maybe they're playing afraid and timid. So it's only one way I think for Rodney. You got to go, bro. He needs to be placed on Mars. Six to five times, and this is what the taxpayers' dollars are paying for. And then we want to say defund, refund, defund the police. Really? Now with Dirty Dick Rotney going around here. So I'm telling you, it's like a small crime that it inches up and then it escalates, keeps this up. It's going to be another story. I would not be surprised. Another story of this thing, you know, it's escalated. Someone's really gotten hurt or murdered by Dirty Dick. We don't even know if he shot Dirty Dick Rodney. He's a sick behind. He needs to, if he's going to get into a house, it needs to be what I call the right one, and that's the one that knows how to handle that Smith & Wesson. Winchester. Times are getting harder, and I'm telling you, if you think it's bad now, don't forget, with some of these evictions that are going on, it's crazy. That's been overturned. So you're going to have, you know, mentally ill people. Uh, you're going to have families. It's it's just not going to get any better, people. It's just not. It's not going to get any better. So try and have a safe weekend. Just be safe, be alert, be vigilant, and protect you and yours. P please, protect you and yours at all costs. I'm not saying to break the law. I'm just saying, within reason, protect you and yours. But this kind of behavior, and I'm kind of wondering, too, these are probably women that are single. Because a man would more than likely let her go ahead and go to sleep. And they'll lie and wait for Rodney. And when Rodney get into that house, it's you, what the, I just said, you're going to need some new carpeting. Mm-hmm. You're going to need some new carpeting because uh, Rodney, uh, uh, he's going to get got. So I'm kind of suspecting if he's preying upon single women. He has nothing to do all day walking around, you know, checking the scene. Anyway, Don Warren, shout out to you. I'll get to some other emails soon. This is like so very alarming frightening majorly concerning a major issue here so feel free to comment like subscribe and share you have any um opinions on this any protective measures for the women pay hey, put them in the comment section let's work together on it thanks for listening and i'm out